Hey folks, I got a little project I got to do. The lights on my trailer have been acting stupid. So I got to put new lights on the trailer. I got a new setup. But I want y'all to check this thing out. Here's the lights. They got reverse lights in them. That's pretty bright. Now, what I've got is, what they call that is the four flat. Right there. One, two, three, four. But this one takes a five flat. Let's see, where did I see it? Seven blade to five flat, and that's sold separately. That's that piece. So I, I got this one. Seven round blade to five flat adapter. So I'm gonna plug this in and see if it works on my connector right under here. If it works, and we should be in good shape, then I'll plug in the lights, and we'll see if they actually uh, work like I want them to. If they work, uh, then I'll put them on the boat, and we'll have all new lights, and then we'll have some backup lights. I've never seen those before. I think that's a neat concept. So we're going to see if we can get some of this stuff taken care of. You know how I like working on vehicles, and boat lights, just the same. First thing, we'll see if this, and it's got a little rat tail on there to extend your light set up. Set up. That's good. Let's see if she plugs in right. That's good. Now we'll see what happens. See, these might not even be hooked in. So we might have to do some work. Assembly required. That's why you carry a knife right there. See if I can not cut my cord though. Right there. Alright. So far so good. That part lines up. I'm going to take these all apart. See what assembly we got to do first. Um, and then if everything looks good. We'll start disassembling the ones that's on the boat now. And hopefully my game plan is to be able to cut the lines. Or unscrew the lines. And hook the new line to it. And pull it through the trailer. So I don't have to try to feed that stuff back through the square tubing. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I got the lights apart from the little battery pack, so it shows you that the lights work. I want to show you one thing real quick. There's your light. Now this one's got the light underneath. And so this one is for your license plate light on your boat trailer. That's for your license plate. So that'll go on the left side. <clears throat> All right, I know the lighting probably not that great. The first thing I got to do is take off the old lighting system, the license plate holder. Get that off and put a whole new one on there. And then I got to get the one off this other side. I'll take this one off of here. And then we'll figure out about the wiring. I was reading some vehicles won't have the seven wires for the backup lights. I hope that's not the case on this one. It says count the wires, but my wire system is all in a cased in harness, so I don't know if I can't count them. So we'll put it together. We may not have backup lights, but I'm hoping for the best. So wish me luck. All right, I got the new one mounted. Got the ground. 
hooks into the back of the light right up to the frame. And there's my light, my wires. I haven't taken off the old one yet because I'm hoping to be able to cut it and pull everything right through the same way. Put my license plate hooked up. I gotta do the other side. Okay, you know on the back of the lights, you got two bolts go right into your uh, square channel, square pipe, square tube, whatever you call it. The inside one's always hard to get to. What's neat about these lights is they have a track that it slides down on just like that. So what I had to do inside there, I would take a washer and with my needle nose and stick it in there and put it on the bolt. And I'd hold the nut on there and screw it in by my hand to get it started. Once I got it started, then I can reach in. I can barely reach the second one. So, but I'll get in there with a wrench now and be able to twist it. You won't get much of a turn and I'll take a little bit of time to do it. But that's what we gotta do. You gotta reach in here. This one's easy to get to. I'll just snug this one down. Already getting tight. Good deal. Now this other one. That's a pain. We'll get that one snugged up for you. We'll catch up back with you in a second. Okay, don't do what I did. I forgot to hook the ground. You gotta put the ground on that bolt before you cinch it down. Okay, because if you don't have a ground, nothing likes to work. All right, there's my second light hooked up. Now the question is, where do these wires all go to and how am I gonna feed them back through? So I'll catch up back with you after that. That's the part I'm nervous about. So I'll make sure nothing's hanging, nothing's dangling, dragging the road. We don't want anything like that. So we'll see what happens. Okay. This is coming all the way down the main shaft and that splits over here, greens over on this side and it goes there, through there. The bracket, that little hook hanger, that bracket, and then it goes around. Now that side should do the same thing. They've got it tucked. Uh, just through those holes probably. We're getting rid of the side mounted light. And it goes. Well. Wow. That hanger. That part. That hanger again. Just like it did on the other side. Alright. What I'm going to try to accomplish. Is I'm going to try to. Cut this right here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it up front. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it up front and then attach the wires to it so that hopefully I can pull this wire back through and have it fed all the way through here. All right, that's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, there's our connector. Right there. Now because of my my garage is shorter than my boat trailer, I had to hinge it. Now that's a neat little contraption. You cut your tube and then you can take that pin in and out and, and open and close it and that'll get me another two and a half foot to go inside my garage. We cut it back there, we cut it up here, hooked it to it and fed it through here and it did alright and pulled it all the way through the tube. And so now hanging out, I got all new cord. Now I gotta go, I believe it's brown and yellow to the one side and green to the other side. And I gotta figure which side the blue goes to for the reverse lights. All right. So far so good, we're running out of daylight, but at least I got the garage, I can do a little bit more work. 
So we'll see if I can get them wired up and everything work. Hopefully I got backup lights. That would be sweet. All right, I've got the blue wire run. That'll connect to there. It goes across to the other side. That's reverse lights, if I have them. And my, my wire is right there. It's supposed to reach here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm about a foot short of having plenty of room. So, what I'm having to do is I'm going to make a jumper out of some of the old wire. I might wrap it through or go through here to make sure I have plenty of room, plenty of slack, and it won't mess up if I need to pull because of my hinging uh, front end of my trailer. Because it hinges, it'll have a tendency to pull some of this cord back. I'm going to make sure I'm leaving myself enough room. So that's what we got going on now. So i got to clean that up, splice them, wire nut them together. And run the run the blue across for reverse lights. I got to do the same thing with the um, brown and yellow on that side because they are about a foot short too. So, that's the next step. Okay, we got the lights all hooked up. We're going to do our test run. Let's see what we've got. So we're going to start off with a brake light. Here we go. That's lit up. That's lit up. Okay, brake lights are good. All right, let's go left turn signal. Oh, good. Right turn signal. Awesome. I right, go ahead and do the hazards. But if I'm working. All right, let's see those reverse lights. Oh, look at there. Look at there. I ain't never had reverse lights. Those are sweet. Alright, all that's off. Alright, running lights. Are you kidding me? The running lights are on on the truck, but they're not going on here. Alright. Alright, that's good, honey. Okay, we've tested everything. Got all the ground wires, good to go. For some reason, my running lights are not working. Y'all help me out. I'm thinking I've got a problem with the plug on the truck, uh, under the truck. Not the new plug, I just purchased a new plug, a uh, five way, a five flat from a seven bar. I think that's what they called it. I got a new new plug there got everything wired up everything uh, grounded i don't have running lights now, if you know what this problem is y'all hit me up and tell me what to look for maybe y'all can help me fix it i'm going fishing saturday taking my co-worker cowboy he got he went fishing with me last year we went to lake cahoon he caught his first ever bass his first ever pickerel i got to get this boat ready for the road before saturday today's monday y'all help me out those reverse lights are sweet. All right, folks, y'all help me out. Tell me what to look for, and I'll see y'all soon. All right, folks, got one more thing to show y'all. See if that helps y'all. I realized my old plug has three indicator lights on it. Now, I tried them out, and I'm going to show y'all what it does. It's pretty dark out here, but you'll be able to see the lights. All right, honey, step on the brake. All right, see, so we got two lights. Come on. Okay. Do the turn signals, the hazards. So those lights come on when they blink. Okay, now do the running lights. All right, the running lights are on and nothing's coming on. Okay, so does that help tell y'all what's, tell me what's going on? Alright, so I got the two lights going. I don't know what's supposed to light up when the running lights are on. So, I think there's something wrong with wires under the truck. If y'all have a clue, type it in the bottom. 
I'm hoping that something simple like the ground is loose under the truck or a fuse is out or something, but I don't know. So, um, help me out, and then we'll see y'all later. Thanks.